What's up guys, Rob Peasel back with you. Okay, every year in the playoffs there are surprises and they come in all shapes and sizes. It could be just a really surprising upset or some breaking news that absolutely nobody saw coming. And this year is no different. So here are nine playoff surprises in 90 seconds. Start the clock. Okay, when the league announced their 2014 playoff, people were really upset that Chicago and Montreal got a spot. Well, both of those number 12 seeds pulled off a surprising upset. Biggest bombshell of the playoffs so far came 30 minutes before game three between the Bruins and the Hurricanes. Tuka Rask announced he was opting out of the playoff bubble to spend time with his family. And you can never fault someone for putting family first. One round is in the books and the Leafs are out. Uh, Rob, this is supposed to be nine surprises from the playoffs. Moving on. Okay, if you don't find a hockey game that needs five overtimes, has the goalie make 85 saves, and has two players log over 60 minutes surprising, who hurt you? Okay, did somebody put Oprah in charge of everyone's penalty kill? You get a shorthanded goal. You get a shorthanded goal. And Tobias Reeder is leading the way with three, which has already tied an NHL record. Dare I say this? Do the Flyers finally have their first true number one goaltender since Ron Hextall? Everyone was surprised when the Habs announced that head coach Claude Julien had to be hospitalized after experiencing chest pains. What wasn't surprising? The Habs responding with their best game of the playoffs. One of last year's heroes is on the bench. Jake Allen is between the pipes. And finally, there were a lot of people that were skeptical of the bubble system, and I was one of those people. Well, three weeks, 5,640 tests later, and we had zero positive tests. That a good surprise.